the connection between uh, artificial intelligence and EAs or trading, I believe it's going to, might be the next trend, might be ne the next hype. But um, again, here we need to see, um, like I had a, I had a, t a prof um, a prof at the, at the university who was always saying like, um, hundred years ago, you had to search for information. Mm -hmm. Now you have to filter the information. Mm, yes, exactly. Yeah, and I believe also with EAs and artificial intelligence and so on, we have to be uh, carefully. It will be so. It, it will be accessible for everyone. The data is out there which one we get we have to filter and again there you as an individual trader you need to educate yourself to be able to make this filtration which is good which is not good this is a good EA this is not a good EA so again it comes up down to you uh, you cannot delegate this to something else out there without your own making the screening understand what's going on out there otherwise you give like it's like giving your kidney out you know <laughs> <laughs> also i think maybe what what people need to understand generally is there's not going to be a well not going to be i think everything needs you need to put the effort so yeah i mean we we are doing this ourselves now with uh, the, the chat GPT is incredibly powerful yeah. but it's as powerful as you know how you use it right so there's um, I'm, I've actually started now with um, <laughs> the dream team <laughs> right with the the stars you, you mentioned before so uh, we incorporating it in into uh, the daily uh, process with a specific with our niche it's it's not going to get to the this point that we imagine where things are fully automated and you know it's uh, you you've actually leveraged off of the technology to be more efficient unless you put, don't put the work and uh, um, I'm experiencing that firsthand for example this the podcast right uh, and the emails that you've been getting and, uh, you know, this whole agenda and whatever is, I've leveraged off of ChatGPT for that, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so, um, and the, the way things will change, I think, as it, at, at least as things stand now, and, the, and um, I'm, I'm putting my perspective here on this, is prompt engineering, right? So prompt, how you prompt uh, the... AI is will become a real skill that's hmm. that's required. As as I see it, it's not going to take away any job, right? The, the dealer, for example, a dealer is always going to be needed. You may not, as a, the the dealer's job changes, right? With uh, uh, with with uh, a technology such as ChatGPT, for example, or whichever AI. Um, Instead of you doing that manual work where you need to, you know, and, and you, you know, you'd be you'd be a good person to understand how, what to prompt mm. uh, an AI for the results you want. Like, you you can't be a a doctor, for example, and say, you know, cure me. You need to know exactly what to ask. So, as a dealer, for example, you yeah. need to know the the answers that it gives back are going to be very efficient. In, in terms of that manual work that you needed to put before, crunching the numbers, you know, doing your reconciliation, looking at, you know, how much, how exposed am I on the dollar versus, you know, all the instruments that are dollar based, uh, you know, the stuff more. And then the results it gives back, you, you understand mm, it's accurate or not. What it does effectively is that human process of going to the database, querying it, finding that information that you would have manually needed to go and look for. And then the result that it comes back with, you understand, okay, that was, you know, that's efficient like that. You know, that was fast. As, you know, what ChatGPT is good at is text, right? And, mm. and, and, and composing uh, paragraphs and whatever. So that's what helped, helped me. It's, it's not as if I don't know how to write, uh, you know, 
uh, an email. But if I prompt it, write me up this email, boom, I've got it in 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that. Actually, we had this uh, discussion with our group CCO, Lino, um, a few weeks ago. And um, like we have data, collecting data and uh, artificial intelligence. And he mentioned um, if you put on uh, chat GDP, fishing salmon or fish salmon, you will find a fisher sitting on a salmon which is ready to be cooked, All you right. know? <laughs> so, in fact, yes, the data is out there, but um, you still need this human touch to validate the data which is coming out of artificial intelligence. So, I think the combination of both it's going to be like you with with uh, artificial intelligence you can skip a lot of uh, i will call it donkey work but the validation and uh, um, the validation of the result a human touch is needed and it's an empowerment 100 <laughs> percent. thank you for watching if you like that video and you want to watch the full episode, it's available here. Remember to like, subscribe and share. It helps the channel.